Okay. Okay, FO Studio. Okay, bit of tweakings from here. Okay. Let's go back to live. Let's just add that. Okay. Uh, hello what's up guys welcome to mixing with ag2k in this specific video before we get some work done don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel and allow me to introduce the new update on our logram ableton live rack so the previous version was vision 1.0 it looks like this and few presets just like three and then i'm going to be talking about this one this one is very very big guys and i've included a lot of presets as you can see so before i dive deep into explaining everything that you see here let's do a quick comparison uh fo studio log drum side by side with our log drum rack okay okay fo studio okay bit of tweakings from here Okay, let's go back to live. Let's just add that. Okay. Okay, let's go to here. Okay, let me come back here. Okay, how do we do that? You just have to do something like this. Okay, cool. Alright, so that's it guys. Let me know in the comment section which is which. If it sounds the same, and then let's make some music guys. So, our log drum rack, it is made up of operator. Right? So, on operator, I have some controls, uh, some parameters mapped here on this uh, macros so let me just minimize this one and focus with this one so the blue represents the sub so if you see anything in blue color is for the sub so for example if we remove all this red right and just leave only the blue or oh, what did i remove this blue okay it's okay like this we're going to be left only with the sub so i'm going to adjust this decay a little bit and i'm gonna go here and put these notes to a higher octave so i'm gonna play this so you can hear this just okay let me play here so this is just a sub that is left so the decay is more straight it's more consistent like just like straight like so the sustain it is just a different character so now you know how you're going to control your sub in terms of the sustain let me just jump into the red so the red is the modulation so this modulation is like we have another waveform which is actually manipulating this one like that's um to create that log drum uh, sound so i'm gonna put some tweaking here so let's try maybe around 11 12 there and let's add sustain of that modulation waveform and now we have like this so if we remove the sustain we'll just hear that low um, um sub so now if we put it you can hear it's like we adding another high octave of that uh sine wave but once you start putting in this click you will be there then you can just have the release to make it smooth and i'm gonna have to lower this sustain like this so i feel like these notes are too high so let me take them a little bit low and then let me try to add a bit of uh, sustain here okay then tips when you're using it when you're playing low keys you might have an issue with the volume for example it might be too low you have to come and have a little bit of volume when it's playing high keys it might be too loud so you use this to to control that 
and then another second tip if you want to do this this buzzing sound you have to go inside your piano roll and make sure that you're changing your notes to be like too too low for example if um where am i i uh, can see but um okay let me just split here and go inside yeah and let me zoom where is this note it is here right so if it's big it will play like this but if it's too too small if it's too too small it will play like this it will play like uh -huh. it will play like that so for you to have this buzzing sound you just have to find some other keys that you can just uh make small small like this you have that sound <laughs> All right, let me move forward. Uh, what else? I think that's all for the tips. Now let me mess up with this preset. Okay, this is the first default. It's simple. You can use it to actually come up with your own tweakings here. And this is the second default as well. A little bit different. You might just have something like a starting point. But this one is nice. I'm 82K. Okay, cool. Let's move. Oh, this one is nice. Let me try it here. Oh. With our drums. I like it. It's deep. I can hear. A bit of gain here. Okay, let's let me move forward. This one is short. So for these ones, the short ones, you can try to, um, uh, for example, to put a sub bass on top of that uh, short preset. So all, it, all, all together with the sub bass, it will sound like this. Oh, sh this is too loud. Yeah, you can um, do something like that. So let me move on. Uh, let me mute this okay cool let me go soft high so for this presets written soft high i i, I noticed that they actually um sound nice especially when you playing with the higher notes like higher keys so let me compare this one with the low you see it's not it's it's kind of losing um actually i don't know like the the higher tone or the higher frequencies so it's, it's slow but this is like higher case so this, this is good for higher so it's can hear the tone is a little bit higher so and we have this hard which is the more attack as comparing to the soft one you can hear and it's a little bit short to make it long And now we're moving on to this last one so these ones are extended on the normal log drum we don't have this control so these ones are it's extended so with these ones now we have a spread and a tone so we can actually um uh, exaggerate and you can change some things like stereo so for example let me play this so if you do like this So that's it. I'm sure you can hear. Let me play this one. Uh huh. Next. All right. That's all for the update. The link is in the description. If you wanna go grab it find the link in the description below don't forget to like comment and subscribe